John Pippen joins us now from Dallas, Texas. He's a medical ethics expert and director of academic affairs for the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine. Um, John, thank you so much for joining us. First, how significant is this development? It's been 20 years, as we mentioned, since Dolly the Sheep. So why has it taken so long? Uh, it has taken so long because it's uh, very complicated and there has been a problem in the technology that has prevented these created embryos from developing. The Shanghai researchers were able to identify what the problem was and they were able to correct it so that now when the egg is taken from a donor monkey and the nucleus is removed and then a different nucleus is inserted, a different fibroblast or cell which uh, develops into an embryo is inserted, it can now develop uh, just as with Dolly and the 20 some odd other species. So as a technical accomplishment, it's quite remarkable. You know, 20 years ago when Dolly came about, there were ethics concerns. Have any of those issues changed over time? The ethics issues are the same, I believe. Um, I believe this whole business is horribly uh, in unethical. And the reasons are that, first of all, we are create, creating out of whole cloth, almost in a Frankenstein manner, um, animals that are genetically significant, uh, genetically similar, identical, actually, and then only for the purpose of using them and killing them to study human diseases. Many people would think that is uh, unethical. Uh, when you consider that this method that the Shanghai researchers have developed does not even address the major reason why you cannot translate monkey research results to humans, that makes the ethical violation um, egregious, uh, I believe. And they have not addressed that issue. This will not result in us being able to study monkey brains and understand what's going on in human brains. I want to ask you about China's largest, uh, has the world's largest clone factory in Tianjin. Is, is China leading the world when it comes to clone tech. Talk about some of the other countries who are also doing this. Well, China is um, a leader uh, in this area uh, scientifically. Um, the United States, of course, is doing uh, much of the same research. American researchers have now been able to solve the problem that the Shanghai researchers uh, were able to solve. Um, so uh, China has a really a foremost position in this specific area of scientific research, genetic research. The question really is, what will come of it, and should we be doing this? And I think a lot of people would argue that there is benefit, they believe, in this kind of science and possibly helping solve uh, issues, diseases, that sort of thing. Um, we see monkeys now. You said it's a complicated process. Are humans far behind? Is that a possibility? And how long could that be before it's a reality? Well, you've just put your finger on one of the ethical issues. Um, the, use of, the use of genetically identical monkeys for this research really only changes the landscape in that Previously, monkeys used for this research were not genetically identical. So you have to say, what is it about being genetically identical that's going to change uh, the outlook for applying these findings to humans? The answer is nothing. And it's nothing because the reason that monkeys cannot be used to predict what happens in humans, to either study their brains uh, or psychiatric diseases or psychological diseases, uh, neurological diseases, is because the genes are not the only determinant of what happens. The genes are turned on and off by what are called epigenetic factors, factors outside the genome. And those are different for monkeys than they are for humans, and they cannot be changed. So I'm just waving a few of many articles that have been written in the last decade showing that the differences between monkey brains, even chimpanzee brains, our closest genetic relative, and human brains uh, are very different. And they cannot, that cannot be breached. So this technology, marvelous as it appears to be, is not going to change the outcome for humans. 
in terms of whether it's a step toward cloning humans? It is. Um, and we should think hard about that. The uh, research team itself has said our goal only was to develop genetically identical monkeys. It's up to someone else to control that technology. And they further stated that the barrier to human cloning has been breached. We are within a step or a very few steps of being able to clone humans and all of the frightening things that entails. Dr. John Pippen, we appreciate your time. Some interesting things to think about. Thank you so much for joining us.